Welcome back guys. Today we're going to go pick up a trailer for our new builds that will be coming in the future, so stay tuned. trailer spot there was a 16 plus 2 footer that they got us originally and then they thought that they didn't have any 18 plus 2 footers there 20 footers so they originally offered us a 22 footer plus 2 so 24 footer trailer but that was just going to be too big so we ended up we thought we were going to have to go home and not get a trailer that time but then they found that they had 20 footers in the back lot of the place. So we got ours, it's in here, it's in for storage. So now that's all that's left is for us to go get the car from Copart and bring it home, start working on it and put the trailer to use. leg of the journey then we'll finally be at Copart go pick up the Mustang. Big loader over here, so we'll have it really soon. <laughs> what are you trying to do, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're at the Copart Mustang. Let's go check it out. 
I'm just excited, man. Here to pick up the car. Yo, look at that. Look at that Camaro. It's all jacked up. So they organize them by color, and then they organize them by horsepower, and what else? Yeah, I'm sure they do this in their free time every day. Every day? <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks like they got nothing else to do. Well, I'm sure they have nothing else to do. Oh, look at this sign. Oops. Yo, guys, look at this. Look at those huge brakes. It's a 5.0. Dang, some damage here. Some paint. It's got side skirts. The back looks sick. Oh, yeah, it's got a spoiler. Yo, this thing is sweet. All right, bro, let's go. All right, right now we're strapping it up, getting it all strapped. We'll strap it up, make sure it's tight. Come back, check everything. Oh, but look at this. This thing is sick. Got the Mustang. All tightened down. We got the straps all tight on all four sides. Come on over here. Over here. Gotta be careful. Get that door right. Put in there. You can see. Show them in there. In there you can see down there the knee airbag is blown. We have the key. So we have the key. That's good. <laughs> um, this, this side's all good to go. But look at this. Look at how aggressive this back end is. It's so sick. Look at that. The, I think I forgot what it's called, but look at how aggressive that is. It's insane. Super sick and strong. Sides good. Click. This side has some masks and some other stuff on it. I can't open it very well. I can't see because of this. But I love this seamless glass look. It looks so good. As you can see, this is a little messed up. It's not lining up very well. So far, the body line, they look really good. But right here, you can see there was a decent amount of damage. This got hit somehow in here. It feels like, I don't know what this is. Maybe this is like, a, this might be aluminum. I think this is aluminum. But the back is all plastic. So we'll have to maybe get this or we can flatten this out. I don't know. We'll have to take a look at it when we get home. Up here, you can see right in here, there is no frame damage on this side which i was super concerned about so in the back guys we got all the stuff from the front we'll be using most of that trying to see where it goes but so far it's looking good check it out
just keep going straight. Rock it forward a little bit. Here we got the plastic trim over the hood latch that's on the hood. We have a really nice fender here. The only damage on it is right here. So the bend in this and these brackets are probably bad. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to save this or not. So got the side skirt here. Looks really clean. From what I can tell, no damage on it. But we'll have to inspect that further later. Floor mats from the back, back seats, got some plastics and foam. We have a headlight here that was in the trunk. I'm not sure if it's good or not. We haven't plugged it in yet, but hoping that that works because this is like a thousand dollar car. Right here. We have two fog lights right here. One we just took off the bumper. I think it's good, I'm not sure. Oh, actually, now that I'm looking at this more, there's a crack right here. I vote, yeah, this is bad. So we're gonna have to get a new fog light. And this one, from what I can see, is this was on the side that wasn't impacted because the left side, the driver's side, was hit. This one looks pretty good. No damages. We have a Coyote 5.0. Pretty sweet. We started it up. We got it off the trailer. So this thing runs. We checked the fluids, radiator fluid, even though we didn't need that because we weren't running it for long. We checked the dipstick, which is right back here all good we checked the oil level so fluids are all good before we ran it before we started it so this is the beast underneath the hood we had to use a different battery because we did not have the battery we had was completely dead so we got to get a new one before we start it up again move it all around the interior is absolutely amazing the only airbag that blew in this collision is the knee airbag for the driver so this is a really easy fix. You just gotta take off some trim back here and then crawl underneath here. Yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but this airbag is very easy to replace. It's way nicer than having a dash airbag or this steering wheel because this is super expensive and these ones are really hard to replace. So it's super nice that this was the only airbag that blew. It's a little dirty. We're gonna clean it up later, but looks super nice. We had all the parts, all those parts over there were shoved back here. But other than that, it's super clean in here. There's a, I think a tire pressure? Yeah, tire pressure, or tire, whatever you call it, back here. Super clean, super nice. And this latch right here is in case you don't have any uh, power, you can just pull this, you can climb in, pull this, and it will open this latch for you. On this side over here, we have no airbags blown. And I think the reason is because there was no passenger. But something really cool that we found in the glove box is the actual owner's manual and it's unopened. So now we're gonna give it a nice detail and clean this thing up.